Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's games up on the tabletop is Spicy and Sweet and Spicy by Heidelbar Games. This is a two to six player game that takes roughly about 15 minutes to play and is for ages 10 and up. And uh, this, this one here is eight and up, it's the family friendly version. And in the game, Spicy, you're going to be getting a hand of cards and you're gonna be creating a stack. The gameplay is kind of like the old original card game of BS played with a regular deck of poker cards. We will play a stack of cards going from one to two to to four, to seven, to eight, all the way up until you rinse and repeat the stack. You'll be having the opportunity to bluff and call people's bluffs, attempting to empty your hand, scoring yourself trophies, and going through the game until either the deck runs out to a certain point or somebody hits two trophies. You'll count the cards that you've scored in the game and whoever has the most points is the winner. Both games play pretty similarly. There's different art and there's a few new variants to each of the games which I'll go over, talk about the basic idea of setup, the basic idea of how to play the game, and then we'll cover my review. Setting up the game is fairly simple, and both are basically set up the same way. How it works is you'll take the deck of cards, in this case is cat cards, or over here is tiger cards, and you'll shuffle them. Then, based on the number of players playing the game, you're going to take this player count card. Oh, I'm playing four players. I will set it up so that you can see the little line here, and I will slide it into the deck based on where it needs to go. Then, each player is going to get five cards in hand. From there, if you're playing with the sweet and spicy variant, you're going to get a wild card and you're going to put that into your hand and set the rest aside. And then there's also uh, three trophies, they're what they call like 10 plus cards. Set them anywhere you want on the field within reach of players. If you're playing the spicy variant, there's actually these six variant cards that you can choose to play as that will kind of change the game mode in a different way. Once you've got, either in this game, your spicy card and five cards or just your five cards for spicy, you're then going to have some players start. And how the game plays is pretty simple. In the, in the basic mode of the game, the sweet and spicy, the family friendly version, you have uh, pepper, chili, and lemons. And if you're playing spicy, you're gonna have uh, chili, wasabi, and pepper. Basically red, green, and blue, or over here it's going to be red, blue, and yellow. But they're the same, they're just suits. How it works is you're going to go ahead and have your hand and you're gonna go ahead and play one card face down. You'll choose the suit and then the number. The first card in every single spicy stack or sweet and spicy stack is always gonna be one, two, or three. So I can go ahead and go first. I will take my card and place a one chili or a one lemon or a two lemon or a three pepper. Once I have done that, I'll pass and the next player will go. Whenever a player plays a card though, anybody can challenge them on either the suit or the number. The challenge is pretty simple. I say I challenge that card and I challenge it based on its category, so whether it is a pepper, a lemon, or a chili, right? And then I'll reveal the card. If it is the either suit or number, remember, even if the number is wrong, but I chose to challenge the suit and the suit is right, the person who played the card is the winner. So whatever is being challenged, that is what is going to be coming into account, not the other category. If you win a challenge, you'll take the entire stack from bottom to top and you'll score those points. Each card is worth one point. If you lose a challenge, you're going to actually draw two cards from the deck and the other player is going to take all the cards in the stack. So make sure that you challenge and choose wisely. In the sweet and spicy game, there's these wild cards that are separated. These are kind of like multi-wilds that can either be all numbers and all suits. However, they have different backs, so players know when you're playing them because you're running out of options. Uh, there are times in which you can actually gain these cards whenever you lose a challenge, you'll be able to pick one up, but there is a number of them and once they're gone, they're gone. Whereas if you're playing this game, the spicy game, uh, there is no special super wilds. There are in fact half wilds that come in both game modes and half wilds are either one through 10 in the number category, but it has no suit. Or it's the different components like chili, wasabi, and pepper is a wild, but it has no number. So when you get challenged on those things, if they choose the wrong one, then you're going to, uh, they're going to uh, basically not, it's not gonna count. It only has to be the one that is actually on the wild. So if I have a one through 10 wild and I place it face down and they say, it's a chili, well, it's no category, so I would actually lose. So they're kind of like a bonus, but also a detriment as well. So that's how the game works. You play a card down, does somebody challenge? If not, the next player will play a card down. The rules are simple. The first card has to be one, two, or three, and then any subsequent card after that just has to be a higher number in that category. So if I choose peppers, peppers have to be played up until the suit, the stack is either won or lost. Once you get to 10, 
you're going to rinse and repeat that same suit. So if I do, do peppers, I go all the way to 10, then the next card after 10 is gonna be a one, a two, or a three pepper. And you'll continue from there up until the point where the, the challenge is over, in which case the player who lost the challenge will have an, or won the challenge, will have an opportunity to place a new card down with a new suit. So every stack can be a different suit, but must always be a one, a two, or a three. And you're always able to lie in this game, but remember lying can be challenged. There's a little bit extra variant for spicy, where if you want, you can choose one of these variant cards, in which case uh, they will do different things. Like in, in this case, it might be if ever a four is played, it might count as a specific bonus that allows you to play extra cards underneath. They're all basically stated here, but they're basically game mode variants. So for instance, I'll just look at one of them and tell you. The We Love Chili, it's a one to three chili variant. It's this card here. It says if you, if you can legally play, uh, legally declare a one, two, or a three in any, you can, if you can legally declare a one, two, or three in any spice, you may declare chili instead of the required spice. That can change the suit of the spicy stack to chili. So if you're playing lemons, you get to 10, you wanna go back down to one, two, or three. Instead of choosing lemons, you can choose chilies now with the game variant. And like I said, there's a few different variants here that you can choose to kind of make the game a little different. And the other game is just gonna have those super special wilds, which makes it a little more family friendly. And that's the game. Basically what happens is at a certain point, the deck is going to run into the uh, game over card, in which case you'll tally up all the points in front of all players and whoever has the most is the winner. If ever a player runs out of cards in their hand, that will trigger the end of the round. That player is gonna get a plus 10 card, which will count as 10 points and or a stack of 10. And you'll rinse and repeat the game up until either uh, two, a, play, a player gets two of these guys here or the stack ends and you score up and that's it. Whoever has the most is the winner of the game. Sweet and spicy or, or, or spicy, whatever you'd like to play. The Spicy series is basically a series based on the game BS, a game where you're playing cards down and determining if other people, when they play cards down, are lying. And you can also bluff yourself. You have to follow certain rules, which is the one, two, three roll for the start of the stack, or as you progress, having to be a higher number than the previous one, following the same suit up until it is challenged, in which case one player is going to take that stack and you'll rinse and repeat with possibly a new category on a new stack. Discard your hand and be able to score these points, or if that never happens, which it can never happen, and in fact, you'll just go through the whole deck up until the point where the deck ends based on the number of players, and you'll just score all the cards that you have in your specific scoring stack. The sweet and spicy variant has wilds, just like the spicy one does, but the unique aspect of this one is you're gonna get the multi-wilds. These have different backs, like I said, and they'll count for both categories. People know that you're playing them, and they're a good way to end the game, or get close to ending the game, but you can never finish as the last card in your hand with one of these guys here. These guys will also run out and they can't really be challenged because they everyone knows that these cards are legitimate. It's a nice family friendly way of not making you have to continue to play. Uh, another, another cool aspect of the game which I didn't describe is when you choose to play or when it's your turn to play, if you don't want to play you can pass and simply just draw a card. And so there can be rounds in which players are just consistently drawing until they find the cards they want if they don't feel like lying. And in fact you never actually have to lie in this game and you can still win the game. So even if you're not the biggest bluffer but you have friends that are, this is a good game for you as well because you can actually go ahead and just tell the truth the whole time and people might just decide that you're lying. Or if you're just an honest person and then you want to do that one time to get a lie off and score a boatload of points, it can kind of work in your favor. The game modes are very fairly simple and straightforward. The only unique aspect to spicy that's different from sweet and spicy is you have the variant modes which change the game in, in a unique way. And if you own this one, you can play this game mode utilizing the extra bonus wilds as well. Or you just start with a family friendly mode and then you move on to this one when maybe your kids get older or you want something a little more, um, I don't know if I say complex, but a little different. The variant modes definitely change the game up and add a little bit more strategy and complexity because changing the game completely utilizing these new rules is definitely helpful. The quality of the cards are excellent. In fact, the spicy cards are really nice. They have a holographic feel on the, on the, on the back side and on the front side, they have beautiful cat style art. They're like kind of like tigers, um, lions, that kind of a thing. They're really unique. They're a little funny. They're not necessarily not family friendly, but this side over here with the sweet and spicy are kittens. It's a bunch of little kittens running around and they are gathering lemons and peppers and uh, chilies and eating them up. All the artwork on these cards are very beautiful. Uh, cards will last you quite a while. They feel nice 
nice and good quality. The box works with all the cards and the rules are extremely simple, extremely easy to understand. It's a simple game about placing cards, bluffing, attempting to win bluffs, attempting to guess when other people are bluffing, and score as many points as possible at the end of the game. And uh, it works really well. This is a game I prefer over BS. It has a little aspect of choosing either the suit or the number, as opposed to just saying that card is not real. You can actually lie in this game and get away with it if they choose the wrong category. Maybe, maybe you've played a two that is a pepper, and that's the new stack, it's peppers, and your opponent plays a four lemon. If you call them on the number four as opposed to the, the category of lemon, you will lose because four is higher than whatever you play. Thusly, they followed half of the rules, which is really cool. I really like that. It kind of promotes you to kind of bluff, but only half lie. You're only half lying most of the time in this game. And the options of being able to draw, you never feel like you're too far behind. You feel like there's always a way to catch up. Stacks can grow in, 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 insurmountably or they can be really small. And the, game's in, the game ends in a relatively short period of time. It works well with two to six players, definitely better with more. I always I suggest like maybe four to five, six might be a bit too many and two might be a little bit too little, but they all do definitely work. Just think of the game BS and how many players you want to play that game with. Overall high quality, beautiful art, fun, family friendly on this one, and this one's still fairly family friendly as well with a little bit more complexities. I recommend both these games. I think they are excellent. They're great little box games. I'm definitely going to keep one of them and probably pass another one on to a family member, but I really do enjoy these games. So if you want to take a look, there's a link down below. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. The game Sweet and Spicy and Spicy by Heidelbar Games, the two to six player BS style card game with cute family friendly art and devious tigers. The bluffing game is a ton of fun. Like I said, there is a link down below if you're interested in picking up either one of these games. There's a live stream we do every Sunday at 6 30 p.m. PST where we play games just like this one. And in fact, we might play one of these games here. We have a lot of games that came in from Heidelbar Bar, Blaze, the Tales of Fire, Animal Poker, Coyote, and so on and so forth that we'll go ahead and give a try. But these so far have been excellent. The last game we reviewed was Time Division by them, and that game was a lot of fun as well. This is definitely more on the lighter side. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to being spicy and sweet and spicy with you next time, but mainly spicy.